in a number of spiritual paths. Your deeper questions might find answers in a session in the pastor's study. You're looking for something more, so let's offer you something different. Mary Meek, blessed be. I'm Aiden Odinson, High Priest of the Temple of Gaia, a priest of the Universal Gnostic Fellowship, and welcome to another session in a very different pastor's study. In about a week we've got Letha coming up. There's going to be a celebration for that. But right now, something I'd like to talk to you about, something that might spice up your spirituality a bit. And it was inspired by a couple of folks at a local grocery store who didn't seem to quite remember some of the things that had been drilled into my head when I was younger. I was told that my online order was supposed to be ready at 12 and I got there a little after 12 and I was told to wait about 10 minutes. 10 minutes later I was told to wait about 10 minutes. 10 minutes later I was told to wait about 10 minutes. Finally I asked, is 10 minutes a euphemism or something on the clock? Anyway, I wasn't allowed to do that when I worked in a hardware store. I grew up in retail. My dad was, he worked in the central organization of a company in those days known as Coast to Coast Stores. They franchised hardware stores local hardware store. Might have had the Coast to Coast franchise. It was locally owned, but it had national affiliation. And so, one of those stores in Portland, I worked at for a while. Basically until I went to college. And I learned a lot there. A lot in addition to what my dad told me in the first place. About being there for your customers. Somebody told me a hardware store is not a bank. In those days we had what we called banker's hours, which a retail store couldn't afford to do. Especially the ones that were trying to compete against the big boxes, which were starting to come out. Never forget the importance of the customer. And above all, you don't let a regular customer down. Even the big boxes, some of them have disappeared. Why? Because of those last two points. I can think of a few places that I could name that people would come to, everybody would go to once, a lot of people would go to twice, but who would go there a third time? Yeah, you know, all they offered was price. Certainly not anybody who wanted to help you. But then in the store, and I saw this in another supermarket of the same chain, Where I know a few people that work there. And how I get to be, well, at this one particular one I, that unfortunately doesn't handle online ordering, I go to their deli department and I'm not let down. How does this work for us? 
you're probably wanting to know, okay, is this a small business class? No. We're talking about spirituality here. How does this work for spirituality? The same principles apply. The difference is we're the customer. The divine cares about us, but we're basically the customer. And there's many names and faces and facets that we could address. Why do we address which ones we do? Talking to them and working with them works. But how do we get it to really go? Well, one I've pointed to a few times, and I'll say it again. Be a regular customer. If they know you when you come in, if they know you, it helps. Somebody walks in the store and says, and somebody behind the counter says, Hello, Mr. Watson. How you doing? Mr. Watson feels pretty good. And so this is another reason why I don't particularly like, I don't think much of being a bunny rabbit. You may drink it more than one well. You may have a bridge or two, but you're not going to be bouncing around like a bunny rabbit. Where you are, they know you. Know what you want and express it as well as you can. Yes, the divine is divine. The divine might have some idea of what you're asking about. But it makes it all the easier for the divine to provide you with what you need, which might be not quite the same as what you think you want. But if you can express yourself, all the better. My favorite story from working in a hardware store was the lady who came in the door saying, do you have a thingamabob about so long with a round doohinky on top? What? I have no idea. Or somebody else who came in and they wanted one quarter inch by two inch bolts. Quarter inch bolts we've got. Two inch long bolts we've got. But do you know how many different kinds of bolts you will find in a hardware store? Knowing what you want and being able to express it as best as you can can really help. This is where meditation comes in. And some time to think especially if emotions are a factor. Know when to trust their knowledge and when not to. This works. If you've got a plumbing problem in a hardware store, are you talking to somebody who actually knows plumbing? or somebody who only wants you to think they do. Know when to trust their knowledge and when not to. Same with the divine. There are some times when I just say, here's the issue. Please take care of it. Or please show me what I need to do. 
I'm looking for ideas. And finally, and here's a big, and one that a lot of people forget. Let them know when they did good. It gives them more incentive to try harder again the next time. People like being told that they do well. And so do you think the divine might like that too? Just maybe? Every once in a while I'll do a ritual just for the sake of saying thank you. And I always try to include some sort of a thank you in every ritual I do. There's even one person who's up for beatification by the Roman Church, the Roman Catholics, somebody who I've studied because of the kind of spirituality that he offered, who used to say, give thanks in advance. One place I read, he, he, he was quoted as saying, give thanks in advance because it puts them over the barrel. If you're giving them thanks, then they've got to do something for you. But especially afterwards. And yeah. I know that the retail world doesn't seem to be the same as it was when I was getting my feet wet in it. But I'd like to think that the divine is the same. And maybe these principles, well, they might still apply in the retail world, in the part of the retail world that really wants to get ahead. But I have a feeling that in dealing with the divine, these really apply. So here's some things that you might be able to put to use and see what comes of it. See what comes of the basics of being a really good customer. I might. Blessed be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path. We show you how to find and pursue your own path. Above all, we tried to provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and wherever cyberspace can be reached. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org or our meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. Thank you for coming. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.